Hi and welcome to Podpad Studios special on the Midsummer Night's Markets and I'm Mrs Breaker and we're down at the Bath and West showground and we're really really enjoying the fact that we've been invited to come and have a look at the showground and have a look at the market. So in a minute we're going to have a little chat to the wonderful chap that owns this lovely lovely vehicle behind us. Most of you will recognise it from Breaking Bad but first we're going to have a wander around and see what's occurring. Okay, so we've had a look round, we met some fabulous people and now I've just come back to the RV to meet Tom from Breaking Beer. Okay. Hi Tom. Hi there, okay. Yeah, fine, thanks. So Tom, what inspired you to go and buy the RV from Breaking Bad? I just love the TV series. I mean, it's just one of those, Breaking Bad is just the best, the best TV series ever as far as I'm concerned. Even better than Game of Thrones if you want to go there. Ooh. Might upset a few people, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's iconic. I mean, I'm a huge fan of movie vehicles, TV vehicles, and um, I mean, this is it's, it's iconic as far as I'm concerned. So tell us a bit about how you got it, and did you have to modify it? And... Um, I've been after one for years, um, and actually this one came up for sale in Essex end of last year, actually, just as it happens to be. It's the only one in the UK and in Europe, actually. So I was quite lucky to find it. Wow. That. I was quite intrigued. I had to have it. It was kind of, it was a done deal before I'd even sort of seen it. But, um, and did you modify it in any way when you got it? I've improved it is probably the, okay. the, the way I would say it. The, the guy that had it before me had already used it as a bar, which is why he did the conversion on the side like this, um, which wasn't really my intention. It was kind of an added bonus when I bought it. but. I thought, you know what, I'll give it a go. And it's actually coming really useful considering as there's a few less events on this year. Because tell yes. us about the other vehicle you own. Yes, yeah, so my main vehicle I do is a Back to the Future DeLorean. A Back to the Future a DeLorean, the future guys. DeLorean, of course, yeah. <laughs> um, and yeah, we're, we're really busy with that one. Well, we were, shall I say, really busy with that one. And then coronavirus obviously hit the lockdown and then the event industry just completely crashed. So, yeah, the DeLorean's been out of work since March, pretty much. It's just starting to pick up again now, getting a few bits in, so this was my lockdown project. <laughs> that, that's really good news to hear, and it's kind of the same with us, Tom, because obviously we've met Tom, we know Tom for quite a long time, and we usually see him out and about when we're with our Batmobiles and stuff like that at events. So, um, if you could own, own one film vehicle, apart from the Breaking Bad RV, or, you know, what's your favourite film vehicle of all times? That's just that's the ultimate question, isn't it? I mean, <laughs> is there a single answer to that? I don't think there is for me. I don't think there's one single vehicle. Back to the Future DeLorean. That was my childhood dream car. That was the thing. Um, I'm, gonna say, I'm a huge fan of like the Jurassic Park vehicles, um, Ghostbusters Ecto-1, things like that. Um, I'd love to own them all, but they've all been done before, if you know what I mean. That sounds a little bit selfish, but... They've, they've all been done before and I'm not really into it. That's why I did this as well. Yeah, because it's, it's the only one in Europe. One. I mean, it's that's amazing. So. And tell us a little bit, you've got um, farm cider up there. Yes, and it is uh, home brew, if you want to call it that. Um, <laughs> yeah, we've been making cider on the farm for, well, I'd be the fourth generation of, uh, of Redaway making Redaway cider. So um, it was obviously going to go on the bar. So it's a like. really, really cool connection. It is, and I can buy it cheap as well. So. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks ever so much for talking to us today. Absolute That's really pleasure. brilliant. Thank, Thank you. you. Cheers.